The Tool Fear Inoculum Tour concluded with a breathtaking performance in Las Vegas, marking the end of a mesmerizing musical journey that spans several cities. The band, known for their experimental progressive metal, delivered an unforgettable experience that captivated audiences and challenged the conventions of a typical rock show. One of the standout features of the tour was Tool's strict prohibition against cell phone recordings, equating them with crack pipes. This decision tested the patience of some fans, with incidents of defiance leading to confrontations with security. Maynard James Keenan, the band's enigmatic frontman, addressed the audience, emphasizing the importance of being present in the moment and experiencing the music without distractions. So stay connected, stay with us. End of the show, we'll let you film the last song. It'd be great, but until then, don't be a crack whore. Leave your crack pipe in your pocket for two hours. The concert kicked off with the title track, Fear Inoculum, setting the tone with floor-to-ceiling visuals of pouring lava evolving into a cellular membrane. Despite Keenan admitting to feeling unwell, the performance was robust, showcasing the band's musical prowess and the immersive visuals that have become synonymous with Tool's live shows. The set list, though not extensive, covered a range of songs from their latest album, Fear Inoculum, as well as fan favorites like Jambi, Rosetta Stoned, and Schism. Drummer Danny Carey's solo, including a gong performance, added a theatrical element, while the visual displays of pyramids, scarlet smoke, and ancient sounds complemented the complex and mathematical percussion that defines Tool's sound. The unique cell phone band created an atmosphere where the audience was fully engaged, leading to a more immersive experience. Keenan's analogy of cell phones to crack pipes, while unconventional, resonated with the crowd, emphasizing the band's commitment to providing a genuine and undisturbed connection between the music and the audience. Throughout the tour, Tool continued to challenge their audience with a set list that leaned heavily on their latest album, Fear Inoculum, deviating from some of their more popular 90s hits. Given Tool's sporadic record release schedule, allowing each album the time to unfold and reveal its depth becomes imperative. Tool music is complex material that can require a patient exploration to fully appreciate. And Fear and Oclium is no different, a fantastic long-awaited release and soon-to-be classic. The band's refusal to conform to traditional rock show expectations, with Keenan often positioned at the back of the stage, allowed the visuals and the music to take center stage. Noteworthy guests during this tour included Alex Lifeson of Rush and Billy Strings, adding extra layers to the already intricate sonic tapestry woven by Tool. The Phoenix and Las Vegas shows, in particular, stood out for their hypnotic intensity, musical excellence, and art rock ambition. The Tool Fear Inoculum Tour 2024 proved to be a testament to the band's enduring mystique and progressive post-metal prowess. With their esoteric visuals, unconventional stage presence, and a commitment to an immersive experience, Tool once again demonstrated why they are one of the world's biggest cult bands, leaving their devoted fans in awe and anticipation for future sonic journeys. If you were lucky enough to catch a show or more, then we'd love to hear your thoughts in the comments section. We thank you for watching Rock Buzz. Help us out and hit like and subscribe.